if y'all don't know who this individual is in this picture right here, this is Christopher Cantwell, whose video went viral shortly after the Charlottesville riots in August last year. Now, on my original channel, I actually posted up the video where he was in there crying, just boohooing about whatever. And this is actually a screenshot from that. This isn't the video, it's just a picture. And like I said, it went viral. And he was a part of that whole Unite the Right riot, because that's basically what it was. And I don't know why they call it Unite the Right. It was just a, it was like one big clans clown meeting that went completely out of control. But then again, when it is, when is it ever in control? Well, it has just come out today that Mr. Cantwell wasn't all who he claimed to be. And something told me that this, that, little facade and that little theatrical dramatic performance he gave on camera was just for show and for views because it didn't seem genuine at all so it turns out that Christopher Cantwell is indeed an FBI informant and or agent you're probably like how did you find this out well Christopher Cantwell told us he came out of his own mouth and said that he was an FBI, not FBI agent, an informant for the FBI. So he was basically used as a plant to go there, get information, and get it back to the FBI. But when I was reading through the article, it wasn't he wasn't getting information for um on the behalf of the alt right, or as I call them, the alt wrong. He was there to get information on Antifa, which is the group that the alt wrong has beef with. But here's the thing. I could have sworn that informants or agents were not supposed to broadcast that they were informants or agents. Usually when it comes out, it usually comes out maybe years down the line, way after the fact. I mean, look at Gloria Steinem. As much as we hate that that chick. She didn't reveal herself to be an agent. It just kind of came out. But this guy literally went on to social media and said, hey, guys, I'm the guy that was crying in the video. And guess what? I'm not really a white supremacist. I am indeed an agent for the FBI. I'm an informant. He's going to have way bigger fish to fry than just dealing with them all wrong people. He's going to have to deal now with the same people that hired him because now it's pretty much being exposed that they were the ones that put him in that position. But let's be real here. All of us have known for years that they have agents and plants and informants to get into every type of organization. Look at what happened with the Black Panthers. I'm almost... Well, not almost. I'm for sure certain that many agents were planted within that organization, as well as other or, um, um, I say organ organizations that were beneficial to black people. And the thing is, they'll put people in there that look like you, and it'll be hard to tell which ones are who. And like, it's almost like one of the things: who can you trust? But he was dumb to get out there and actually broadcast to the world that he was an agent. Now, now he's really going to have to go into hiding. So it's like it's it's funny, but it's also dumb on his part at the same time. So he better find a way to create a new identity now, be, or unless it might already be too late for him. Because you know it's not going to take too much for them to find him, especially since they are the ones who hired him. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments.